Gosh, to pick one moment from the seven years I spent with an incredible cast and wonderful uh, exec producer, Gary Marshall, and our director, Jerry Paris, to pick one is literally impossible. Um, we had so many wonderful experiences together on the set, off the set, in baseball stadiums with our softball team. Um, I, I, I think... I think what I remember, you know, the most, if I had to pick, if I had to, it's, it's some of the conversations that we all had in between scenes, you know, and in between the actual work. It's some of the incredible conversations that I remember having. Um, and, and sometimes it would be professional, you know, creative kind of discussions, and other times it would just be regular, ordinary conversations, but those are the things that I kind of remember most. No, that was in the script. Um, I, I was offered the role, and I said, well, let me see the script, and um, they, they sent, sent me the script, and that was already in there. That was their, the concept, whoever wrote it. Um, it was in there that it was a, a, a kiss kind of a Gene Simmons kind of a character, all made up and breathing fire and, you know, like a real metal rocker and singing that song. So that was all, that was not my idea. I, I mean, I had ideas for what I did on that stage and they left, they gave me some freedom to do what I wanted to do, but, but the concept was already there. No, I had no contact with him whatsoever. Uh, he didn't. He didn't contact me, and um, I didn't reach out to him. Um, and I've never even gotten to meet him. Who knows if he is even aware of that episode? Hopefully, I'll get to meet him, and I'll ask that question. Be interesting to find out if he was aware of that or not. Okay, so. What I consider what I do, I mean, swing is, is part of it, but it's not all swing. It's, it's the jazz standards that I do, but, you know, it's, it's the great American songbook, but with a real jazz feel. Sometimes it's swing, sometimes it's blues, sometimes it's just sort of a straight, you know, straight ballad that um, has a little bit of a, you know, of a jazz voicing in terms of the instrumentation. But I don't consider myself a, just swing. But it's just one of the genres within this subset of jazz. And that's what I always loved from the time I was a kid. The earlier album I did back in 1976 was more of a pop rock album because they didn't, they, this was in the 70s, they didn't, wouldn't let me sing this, that, that kind of music because it was not, it was looked upon as sort of an older, you know, for an older crowd. Not, and I was 20. 26 so 25 so it wasn't like it they wanted me to do more of like I said rock and pop so I did it and it was interesting it was a nice exercise uh, but my wheelhouse and what I love is the the standards and like I said done in a with a jazz feel oh I am recording more well uh, this was my previous CD, mostly swinging, with a great 18-piece band of top L.A. jazz guys. I have another one coming out probably, it's probably mid to late spring. Um, it's, it, I can't tell the title yet, I'm not allowed to. But uh, we released a single from it called, uh, it's a song, Smoke from a Distant Fire, um, which was a hit back in the 70s with the Sanford Townsend Band. We did it very bluesy. So that was just released. We're going to be releasing two more singles, and the CD will come out right around the time of the third single, probably in April or May.